What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. Today I wanted to show you a great self-calf massage that you can do. Along with the quads, they're the primary muscles that are used when we're walking, running, or jumping. And so this is a great way to get rid of some of the pain and tension that you might be feeling. Let's jump into it. So we'll begin by just warming up the area. I'm just using a basic massage lotion, but feel free to use any lotion or oil. Just make sure to warm up the entire calf, both sides. And as a quick note, before we get into the deeper strokes, you have two calves. So work one side and then do the other, or else you'll feel a bit uneven. And if your calf is still hurting after you massaged it, that means you didn't go deep enough and you weren't able to get the trigger points out. Once the calf has been warmed up and we've finished these long gliding strokes called effleurage, then we can begin into the deeper stuff. So Lego. So find your shin bone or tibia we're gonna use our knuckles and sink into the muscles just at the base of it. So from the tibia there, I'm pulling down and look at how slow I'm going, giving a nice broad pressure. And never press onto your tibia directly. Bone on bone never feels good but instead make sure to get the nice meaty part of your calves. And you'll see I'm using my knuckles to get this deeper pressure, as well as to avoid injury and keep my wrists and fingers safe. And once you've done that enough, then we can go to the back of the muscle and push it forward. Almost like you're pressing your muscles over your shin bone, but we're just compressing the back and applying the pressure forward. And when I'm popping over at times, that's just popping over the borders of the muscle, namely the gastrocnemius and the soleus which are the two big main muscles that make up the calf. And after we're done pushing it from back to forward, we're then going to go in the same direction as the calf, going up and down with it. And as it warms and loosens up, feel free to sink deeper and go slow. The slower and deeper you go, the deeper layers of muscle you'll hit, and the more trigger points you'll release. That's the inside done. Now we move to the outside, along the fibula. And here lies your fibularis muscles and your deep extensors. So I'm just warming it up in a circular motion with my knuckles and going along the entire length of the calf. From there we'll do cross fiber friction. Notice how I'm stacking my hands like this. This is to prevent from putting too much pressure on just one of your fingertips. And so it's really to avoid injury and to make it easier to do the massage. And you'll see I'm going back and forth, which is across the muscle which is why we call it cross fiber. 
This is super beneficial to break up any adhesions or trigger points and to really promote blood flow to the area. Then we can do linear stripping. Now here I am using my thumbs, but I'm using both thumbs as one. And going down and then up. You can also use your knuckles and drag from your toes to the top. And here we're getting into some pretty deep, pretty specific pressure, really targeting the deeper layers of muscles on the outside of the leg. This can be pretty tender and even kind of feel nervy. So go ahead and adjust your pressure accordingly. And find the muscle that's just on the outside of your shin bone. And this is called tibialis anterior, which is a great muscle to work. The tibialis anterior responds really well to trigger point work. So if you find a tender area, hold it and pin it down for about 10 to 15 seconds. And this muscle, when it gets tight, is the cause of shin splints. And ending off, we're gonna do circular friction on both sides of the knees, as well as coming down and do the same circles at the ankles. The reason we work these is because the calf is simply a muscle that's caught in between two joints, your ankle joint and your knee joint. And so issues in either of those joints can cause misuse in the calf and muscular imbalances. And that can actually be a big reason why your calf hurts in the first place. And last but not least, stretch out your calf. Pull it really tight and give it a good stretch for about 15 to 20 seconds. And that will wrap up the massage. Give the video a thumbs up if it did help you out at all, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you can go enjoy the rest of your day without any calf pain.